It was the year before in 1998, in this golden era of rallying, that Tommy was the key man in World Rally's ultimate cliffhanger. Double world champion Mackinnon had been having a difficult start to the year, retiring at the opening round in Monte Carlo with a crash on the first stage of day two. Adding to his troubles were two retirements in a row in Kenya and Portugal, putting the Finn sixth in the championship by the midway point. At that stage, it looked very much like the title race would be between Spain's Carlos Sainz and the late, great Colin McRae. But in true Mackinnon style, both he and Mitsubishi turned the second half of the season around and started making scores count. Three straight wins in Finland, Italy and Australia brought him right back into the championship race and he headed to the final round. Rally GB at the top of the table, two points ahead of the only other contender, that man again, Carlos Sainz. Tommy remained relaxed. He never pressured himself, that's why he won so many times. He said, I'm just going to take this as another event. He didn't get revved up, he didn't get too excited. But after all the hard work over the second half of the season, a cruel twist of fate unfolded and Tommy quickly found himself out of the rally. Big disaster on the stage number, was it four? Something like that. Uh, Organisers run a historic uh, rally on Tarmac before uh, International World Championship event and uh, one Hillman Imp blown his engine on that corner, what we are maybe talking. And uh, Tommy was first car on the road because he was leading championship. There was oil on the tarmac, so he hit that oil without any warning. Got the slide, big slide, hit the rear, uh, right rear wheel on the concrete block, lost the wheel. It was really one of the worst moments for me. I, we had no hurry to make the title. It was no hurry at all. I just needed to drive and finish the rally and that's it. And it was looking very, very easy. Tommy's retirement meant Carlos only had to finish fourth or higher to take his third championship. To lose the title at the final round was too much for Mackinnon and he was all but ready to head home. It's not the no hand anymore. We can just wait and look. In his mind, the championship was over. All Carlos had to do was to cruise around to finish. He said, please, let me go home. I, I hate staying here when I'm not part of this rally. However, with flames coming from the underside of Sainz's car, Rally GB nor the championship was done yet. The Spaniard had looked set to claim his third world title, but heartbreakingly for Carlos, the engine of his Toyota Corolla expired just 500 meters from the end of the final stage. The pictures told the rest of the story. As you can imagine, that was a very hard, very hard situation. But at the same time, I think I learned many, many, many things from that situation. It was not my mistake, it was something just came and, and what can you say? It made me stronger. With Carlos out of the rally, Tommy, meanwhile, was back in the hotel and in the middle of an interview when he received a phone call. My brother phoned from the end of the last date and he said, hey, hey, could you believe Carlos' car is get the fire and he's standing here, he can't, he's just 300 meters before the end. And, and uh, I said, no, don't be joking, it's a bit too serious. Yes, yes, it's true. And uh, <laughs> I couldn't believe. 1998 championship then Tommy claimed his third successive driver's title and added to his legendary status as one of the world's very best drivers. Everybody said that Tommy was lucky. You are not lucky if you win world championship after 14 rounds and you have more points than anybody else. Watch the most spectacular moments from every rally. Get WRC Plus with all rally highlights now.